So uh, you, you see on the left, is it, it, it's been fixed, and on the right, we're trying to give a load to it. So for a given load, uh, what we actually do is like for a given part, if we divide it into a number of elements, which is what we see uh, in small, small boxes, give some loading, uh, which is uh, down here on the right, and uh, bound decorations for this one would be on the left, which is we are trying to fix it and see what uh, the stresses are, the deformations are. Okay, so uh, so for a part, something like this with irregularity, when you try to give some uh, loading to it, the important stuff you come across is stress concentration. So what is stress concentration? So it is nothing but uh, the highly localized stress that exists in the model that has a, this discontinuity. So uh, whenever you have any discontinuity, let's, have, let's say you have a slot, you have a hole or something like that, you, you, there's going to be highly localized stress which is being developed. So that increase in stress is what we call as stress concentration. So there are two important factors, uh, 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 the reason why the stresses are high. One is uh, the reduction in the cross section. So let's say you, have, you just have a plate with no holes on it, and you have another plate with a hole like this. So whenever you have this discontinuity, there's this reduction in the cross section, and that increases the stress. And another one would be clustering of the stress lines. Imagine that you just have a plate with no hole. Uh, just uh, this is something imaginative. Uh, you should just imagine that you have stress lines like this. So if there's no discontinuity, the stress lines would look so vertical. But just consider that you put a hole to it and you you see the stress line getting accumulated on uh on the edges of uh the slot so that is what stress concentration is so i have few examples uh for you here you have a piston uh, uh which has a stress concentration point so stress concentration is generally uh, developed and there's a reduction in cross section area when you have some sharp edges uh, that is a region of stress concentration. So as a designer uh, or a, a, let's say as an uh, analyst, you can, you can let, whenever you see a design with some sh uh, sharp corners or edges, you can let them know that you will have to change it to reduce the stress concentration. So uh, th that's what I had for uh, stress concentration here. So uh, with that said, let's try to look more into different types of loadings we have. So uh, tension is where we just try to pull it away. Uh, compression is nothing but compressing it out. Uh, torsion is just like uh, twisting it. Shear is like a force which is applied in opposite direction. Bending is what uh, we try to bend apart. So all these uh, types of forces is so familiar to us. Uh, so uh, there's no, uh, this is something so basic but uh, this is, you'll have to have a better understanding of these. So when, when you try to give some loading to it, uh, which I have in the next slide, uh, when you try to give some loading to it, in this case, let's take a bending. So you give some uh, bending load to it, uh, and at one point, if it's above the uh, uh, design limit of your material, your part is gonna fail. It's, it's, a, it's just trying to give some load, and your part is gonna fail. So when we when you, when you talk about part getting failed, there are and there is one important step which comes into play, uh, play, which is what type of material it is. So uh, I have a question for you guys. Uh, uh, just feel free to uh, type it in the chat box. So the question I had for you guys is on the materials. So we have come across this term. Uh, called uh, this ductile material, brittle material. So a uh, question for you guys is, which of these, uh, you have three figures uh, shown as A, B, C. Mm -hmm.